I am this way because my parents did this. Mm. I am this way because this person hurt me like this. Mm. So it comes a time in your journey where you can no longer place blame on others mm -hmm. and you just gotta handle it. Yeah. You gotta handle the issue. Whatever the issue is at hand, you gotta handle it. Yeah. But in order to handle your situations, I'm not gonna say you need full attachment. Not full attachment. You do need to like come back. Detachment. You don't need full detachment. Thank you for correcting me. Do you, so then, you're saying to detach yourself when you see a red flag. Even if you are in a committed relationship? You need to de detach yourself in a way of, that's what I was trying to, like, I'm not trying, I wasn't really trying to say that, but mm -hmm. when, even if you're in a committed relationship, you still self. That yeah, person is absolutely. not you and you are not that person. So in some way, shape, form, or manner, you need to detach yourself. If it's for a couple hours, if it's for a day, you need some type of detachment. If you are still, if that, if, cause if that was the case, then we wouldn't be able to be in relationships with people on our spiritual journey. The only way for you to continue relationships with people on your spiritual journey is to properly handle and maneuver through, you know what I'm saying? Like Absolutely. situations. So Absolutely. I think detachment is important on your spiritual journey. However, solitude, baby. yeah, well, well, I think that detachment and solitude is two different things. Do you? How so? Because it's just different. Solitude is like solitude. You're just with self. But did you truly detach yourself from people? Did you detach yourself from feelings that, like, when something is said, this person cannot trigger me because I am detached from that, like, I'm detached. Like, detachment and solitude is two different things to me. I don't know how to mm -hmm. explain it, but it's two different things to I me. I never thought about it. Solitude and detachment is two different things. And I think I just recently learned that. You could be in solitude and still be attached to uh, things. Maybe not, maybe if you did a long period of solitude, maybe it might help you detach, but you could still you be in solitude and be attached.